Good morning, guys. Um, I'm going to put this short video out, but it's out of Matthew 20, 21, and 22. And it just now kind of all correlating together. I've now known the different scriptures, but called us to labor in the field because harvest is ready. That's 20 and 20, and we're all the same. I know they're long scriptures, but just read them. I'll get into the a little bit of the meat and potatoes in a second. 21, the part that's highlighting, and I'm highlighting, is the stone the builders rejected. Jesus Christ, the chief cornerstone. 22 is the marriage supper of the Lamb. We rejected his calling to come to the wedding. The church did. So let's go to Matthew 20. Okay. I'm kind of going to just leave it out there for you guys because really I don't want this. I'm not trying to get my interpretation of this all. I'm just getting this message out there. promised them all the same. They all agreed to work for the same. Those that and says that those that toiled and labored all day long in the sun, when they got to Jesus, they expected more and they copped an attitude. But he's calling us because the wedding, the end result is the wedding, but he's calling us into the field. The harvest is ready. He needs laborers, guys. And you know what? That's why I put this out there. God's not rejecting us. We're rejecting him. Because of all the sin we live in. His wise counsel. It's not God that's the problem, it's us. Us. Could that mean me too? Yes, of course. I don't get a free pass any more than y'all do. So sometimes these messages hurt. They told me they're, that we're gonna need three things in this, in this, in this, in this labor field, and I'm gonna move on to 21, and then I'm gonna move on to 22. We need spears, swords, and plows. Because the spears, we're going to pierce the darkness. We're going to be that light of the world. We're going to let him enter in to the darkness. The swords are just picking up. You don't need your AR-15 in 300 rounds and go march on the Capitol with a gun strapped to your butt. You ain't gonna be able to do anything anyhow, guys, with that. Honestly, that nonsense. I'm not, you know, I know I'm hitting a raw nerve here. Go ask some of the really, really stupid people like David Koresh. And all that. He had a compound with a bunch of guns stacked up and everything. The government just waited them out. And then they actually burned the building down with him in it. And women and children. How many people died in that? So, the sword of the spirit, though, is his word. And it is live. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. That's why it's so imperative and important that we don't just zip it up. But at the same time, we don't use this. We use the wisdom from above. We use this, our heart. Pick up the right sword. Peter did, and he tried to use the sword of the flesh and cut, cut, cut the people that were trying to take Jesus' ear off. And Jesus peeled it and put it back on. Peter, you don't even know what spirit you're coming from. You don't even know where you're, what you're doing. The 
plow is that we can plow those stony places in people's hearts. This is where I'm going with this, guys, okay? He knew us from our mother's womb. He has Jeremiah 29, the plan I have for you. Eyes of Corinthians, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor have entered in the hearts of man what the, what, what the Lord has in store for those that love him. But it's his plan. Where our lives, his will. We're his vessels that he created. We're on the potter's wheel. Simple analogy, but gas can and a milk can. Guys, there's milk in my milk jug and I drink it, but I don't pour it in my lawnmower. And there's gas in my gas can, but I don't drink, drink that. I pour it in my lawnmower. My lawnmower's not gonna run on milk. And I'm gonna, that gas is gonna taste pretty nasty. They're both vessels. I need my grass cut. I like to drink milk. Two different types of vessels, two different plastic vessels. Both have a use and a purpose. And that's where we're at, guys. The body fitly framed together. But we don't get to pick what kind of vessel we are, what we hold. We all hold, if, if, if we're true, Truly living for for Christ, we all, God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and, the, and His Word is all living in us and manifesting in us because the harvest is truly ready. The stone the builder rejected. Let's go to twenty one. There's there's a lot of depth to that to all this, guys. So that's why I'm just telling you, just to, you know, chew on it, read on it, and you're not going to be a different private interpretation of it that you're going to get, it's going to be tailor fit for you. That's, that's how the, that's how the, that's how the word is for all of us. Twenty one. Rejected. Didn't come, doesn't come the way we want it, God. It's not, it's not our way. I said he knew us in the mother room. It's not it's not our plans, it's his plans. i I'm looking around. I'm not gonna name any of them because I don't try not to do that, get in that realm because of the sensationalism and I know more than somebody else, blah blah blah, da da da. All that garbage. One of my messages out there is out of sec first second Peter, I think it's two twenty two. This kind of vexes me a little bit. I know the secret sauce and recipe to KFC and you don't. God showed me this and he didn't show you this. And it's just for select people and all. Man, it gets to be all pretty twisted up, guys. So I'm checking the internet, different churches and stuff. And just whoever, whatever the Lord highlights, I try not to watch too much trash. Some of them are like, they're going to reopen they just polished a little bit more of their vain rhetoric almost. You know, here's Jesus, here's, you know, kind of surreal. But then the Bible says you'll know them by their fruits. Try the Spirit to see if it's the Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of discernment, the Holy Ghost. I'm going somewhere with this, guys. Just hear me out. It's not anti-church. It's for the body of Christ to reconnect. So it's, but then I decide, I decide, pick one. Jesus, some, some don't even say Jesus, some don't even hardly say God, but <clears throat> trying to repolish it, rebrand it, whatever. But on the other side, who, who is in charge of a lot of the stuff and different things? And, man. I look at different Instagram posts and different things because to be aware, not to be blindsided, not to be not to be ignorant to the falseness because I'm a watchman. That's the vessel that he created me to be, and I can't change that, guys. And I'm not going to try to change it. I'm just going to be obedient. Pray a lot so that I don't say the wrong thing because I got to be accountable for my words too. 
you know, talk about a lot of the, you know, some of these people that are in charge of some of these different churches and organizations and different things. It's no different than the world. It's about their, their house, their careers, or what they've created, or their, their kids and their wife. And, I, and I'm all for that. You know, I've got kids too, okay, guys? Yeah, that's all good stuff. It's not, but it's not about anything to do with the cross, the blood of the Lamb, the repentance, the salvation, God's plan. It's their plans. The rejection. 22, the marriage supper of the Lamb. The wedding's prepared. The feast is prepared. We don't get to pick the menu that we're going to eat. We don't get to pick our seating assignments. We don't get to pick the place, time, date. We don't even get to pick the garment that we're going to wear, guys. So, even at read at the end of it, somebody tried to enter into the wedding without the wedding garment on, without the robe of righteousness, without the robe that the Lord created that Jesus, the God through Jesus created for us. What happened to him? Where's your Where's your robe? Where's your clothing? It's kind of like us going to you know going to a wedding and the bride or the groom or the theme. You know they pick colors and stuff and they put people put a lot of emphasis on that. Nothing wrong with that. That's not what I'm saying either. Because it is a special day. And they want to remember it. And, and maybe maybe the color is blue. Or one of the themes is blue. And then you show up with a with a red suit on with a bright white, with a bright clean white shirt, with some kind of funky fruit bow tie with black shoes on. And you're gonna not only be the laughing stock, they're gonna be people mad at you. Because you got the wrong garment on. In Revelation, guys, a role of righteousness. The, the story of the prodigal son is an awesome story, guys. Of a father's love. In spite of his son's sinful, disobedient, reckless. That's the good news, guys. Stole from his family, defamed him, and lived a, a horrible, riotous life. And used it all up. Think the dad had some shame, guilt. You know, that's what the enemy tries to do. Oh, you raised your kids wrong. Oh, you did this wrong. Oh, you did that wrong. It's and, and the world was like, man, you know, if you're really a righteous man, why, why do you let your kid do this? All that kind of twisted up mess. But what did the father do when he saw him coming from a far off distance? He ran to him. He didn't reject him. God's not rejecting us. God, what did he do? He put on a robe, of, a robe, the best robe he had, not a hand-me-down, moth-eaten, God of that goodwill or whatever. The best he had, guys. The ring back on his finger so people would know who he was. Best meal he could prepare. This is my son who I thought was dead and now he's alive. That's what God's telling us through Jesus. And we're rejecting him. He's saying, come on, come on. To come to the wedding. I've got the table spread before you. Read Matthew. This is the probably part this is part of the five AM prayer guide. This is weep between the porch and the altar. Really read Matthew twenty two. He took it lightly, rejected it. Oh, it's just, it's just this, it's just that. We're too busy with our buildings. I'm gonna end with this, okay? The things that he's showing me about these storms that are coming, it was 2.30 last night. Wasn't even supposed to rain in Dallas. Not even in the forecast, started pouring down rain. The Lord woke me up and I was like, okay, God, I'll get up and pray. And Start going down this this road.
It's not lightly, guys. They took it lightly. And what did he do? Read what he did, guys. That's when he went out on the highways and hedges and compelled his people to come in. But most churches pick what it can be denominational or non-denominational. It's the building. It's the edifice of the, the temple itself. It's the people that you're under. This one's free, guys. You walk in, pick pick one. Some kind of platform at the front and center. A couple steps up, one, two steps, three steps up. Light it up. They stand up there. People stand up there and they got a mic. It's, it's almost subliminal, but it's not. It's kind of like hiding in plain sight. I'm better than you. I got the mic. I got the power. I got the authority. I'm even a little higher than you. Not even reading your Bible. Matthew 20. Go back to that one. Taking it lightly in the marriage supper of the Lamb. Trying to create this atmosphere with, with a band and a Shazam. That's why I put that message out about the Captain Crunch Christianity. Bright package. Brilliant lights. Shiny yellow. Smells good. I used to love Captain Crunch. And the sugar does me in now. It has no nutritional value. It's junk food. Nothing in it. Only thing, only thing, and it's not even good. The only thing good in it is that Nabisco, or whoever makes it, makes money off of it. Off of your detriment, off of your ill health, off of just poisoning your body. Selling to your kids. It's cheap imitation of food. So, and no more time to reject God, guys. Matthew 20, calling us into the field, but to work the field where he wants us to, the way he wants us to, in his plan, and his will, and his purpose. Whatever tool he gives you. He doesn't quit rejecting the blood, the cross, God's plan. We want to figure out some other plan. We got some other formula and way and motion and movement and Bible and <clears throat> not when the Bible tells me, guys, it tells me that there's gonna be an outpouring. But you can't pour in old wine. I mean new wine into old wine skins because they're gonna burst, they're not gonna hold it. So let's not go back to this garbage that like the dogs to vomit back to church as usual, because it's not usual. Watch who you gather with. <laughs> That's scriptural too, guys. Why is there five wise and five foolish? Why did some people come and sit there? Didn't we cast out devils in your name, raise, raise the dead, heal the sick? Depart from me, because I never knew you. Why does it say some vessels, he creates some vessels for honor and some for dishonor? I'm not making this up, guys. The gospel's all good news. I want to hear that all the time. God's good all the time and don't say anything that's not good and blah, 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 and blah, da, 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 da. I'm telling you guys, get up at 5 a.m. in the morning and pray because that's what he's telling me to tell you guys, to, to, to everybody to do. As a nation, as a, and humble ourselves, repent and turn from our wicked ways. Quit rejecting him. Lost my train of thought. Quit reject. We can't. We can't just turn a blinded eye to this, guys, anymore. You're not. You're not going to get your answer and solution from me, the government, or news media, or any of this, or any other preachers. You're going to get it from him. That's the beauty of the cross. We've been mocking the. You know, we mock it. Honestly, try to slap a label on it, a church label. Hoodwink God, put God we trust in our money. Look what our government just did to us, guys, okay? This is a non political ad almost. I don't care which party, you know, the party, all that idle stuff, guys. I'm not looking to Donald Trump to say to save me from the coronavirus. 
or the government. They, they're the ones that locked us down, guys, or tried to. I didn't, but many, some of y'all didn't, but. And then that's, here's a $1,000 check or $1,200 check, and maybe, maybe not, and everybody's, man, it's a mess, guys. You really trust him. Trust should be in, in him. We're rejecting God. We're rejecting Jesus, the blood of the Lamb, God's plan, the Holy Ghost being in us. <clears throat> People are rejecting, they reject the living holy, the righteousness, the getting rid of the sin, the baptism in Jesus' name. They re, it's just, man. No wonder he said turn. So it's time to turn, all right? Turn back to God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word, and you're going to get it early in the morning because that's what the Lord wants to start all the day with. That's why he said this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I hear that too much. Don't say anything if it's not good. Don't say anything if it's not, you know, I'm not sticking my head in the sand. I'm not telling you to do either, guys. If you don't like those pages in the Bible, tear them out. You'll have a holy Bible, all right. It'll be so full of holes, nobody will even recognize the word of God anymore. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be that abrasive guy. My main theme is the same. It's directional. It's a warning. It's directional. Get back to him. What's he telling you to do? So I love you guys. Got to get this right and quit rejecting God. I'm going to end with this. Any of y'all that have kids, when they are growing up, when of course, when they grow up, they do their own thing and, and all that's great and good and should be. But as they're growing up, if, they, if they're rejecting your, your wise counsel as a parent, if you got the wise counsel of a parent, but Maybe in their career or their job, or, I mean, their, or their schooling, or why did so many of them turn to drugs? All the sexually deviant behavior, all the opinionated, gonna do whatever I wanna do, me, me, me. Guys, that's an idol too. Where did this, where did selfie come from? A selfie. It's all about self. We've rejected God. I mean, yeah, I'm going to end with this because it's getting too long. I've got more to put out. Um, I'm going to put some more out this afternoon. Actually, all afternoon. Love you guys. Uh, tune in. You want to email us, Jesus is alive in America at gmail.com. Google it. Help us get this out. Do help, you know, whatever your part is, too. Or if you need our help or our prayers, I don't know. I'm pretty open, guys. But it's all about connecting the body. To not reject him. Love you guys.